Hey everyone, welcome to today's Day Trading Recap, Monday, April 19th. Uh, nice way to start the week, plus 1,496.50. Let's go through these trades and I'll show you what happened. Uh, starting with the Mighty 90, uh, had three trades, two winners, one losers, but net uh, minus 20 on those. So Boeing plus 150, uh, Disney plus 250, and then DKNG minus 520. Uh, did a pairs trade in the Dow versus the NASDAQ for plus 239.50. And then on the runners, a nice winner in Apple for 300. Nice winner, uh, this was two different trades in Tesla for 895. Twitter plus 438 and beyond, minus 256. So let's take a look at these. I'll show you what we did, starting with the mighty 90s in Boeing. So in Boeing, had this nice flush lower right into a key level, nice spike in volume, got long right here and caught this little bounce in Boeing for plus 150. Uh, Disney had this nice flush up into this pivot level, a little higher volume, got short right there and caught this move down. I ended up getting out like right here. Uh, I, was, I was paying attention to something else and um, I, I thought that was our second red bar, but it was just the start of it. And so Left left some uh, left some meat on that bone, but uh, still a good trade. Plus two fifty, uh, DKNG minus five twenty. So in DKNG, uh, pushed up, kind of pulled back with a just a slight higher volume. This is kind of a runner, kind of a mighty ninety. I classified it classified it as a mighty ninety, but uh, could have played it, kind of classified it as either one. Uh, anyway, it just it just kind of flushed lower and ended up just cutting out and taking a loss on that one. On to the runners, starting with Apple. Uh, so Apple pushed up. It was the, the market was just coming down hard, and Apple was holding up pretty well, uh, just coming down a little bit, kind of holding above this pivot, above uh, yesterday's high, Friday's high. And when it pushed down to uh, yesterday's open into yesterday's close, I got long right here and caught this nice bounce up in Apple. Got out of three quarters of it, uh, and then it, came all the way back down. When it started to bounce again, I just cut out of my last piece. Ended up booking a nice profit of 300. In Tesla, so in Tesla, I had this big spike in volume, so it just looked for a little bounce. Got short right here and uh, pushed up a little bit more. I added to it right in this area and then this thing just flushed. Booked a quick $1,500 just on that trade there. Uh, and then when it bounced, I, uh, I added back in just one contract here to see if it was going to roll over again. When it pushed up to this pivot, I, I added some more, came down and got out of some and then pushed back up. I ended up closing out my last piece right here. So booked 895 on those two Tesla trades, net, net. Twitter plus 438. Twitter was a nice one. Uh, this nice flush down, big spike in volume, bounced up to this pivot, got short right here and got out of my last piece. Uh, I was trying to get out of my last piece right here at the bottom, didn't get filled, it bounced, I ended up cutting it out of my last piece right there, but still a nice profit of 438. And then lastly, Beyond Meat. Uh, so this initial flush down, big spike in volume when it bounced, tried to get short for a potential rollover, it did not happen. Uh, so when it bounced, when it pushed up here, I cut out pretty quick, got out of that for about a two, uh, for about a, for a $256 loss. So, Plus 1,000, what did I say? 1,040, $1,496.50. So nice day, nice way to start the week. Uh, we will be streaming the rest of this week live. Look forward to seeing you in the room. Talk to you then.